two, one, happy demo day! This year, companies will spend $1 trillion driving traffic to their website, but only 0.1% on maximizing conversions. With only one in 100 visitors converting to paid customers, companies are literally flushing money down the drain. And do you know why this is happening? Because today, most websites are static. Existing tools don't allow them to personalize experiences for each visitor. The closest they get to personalization is by adding pop-ups and chatbots to their website. We believe web personalization shouldn't be restricted to big text with an army of developers. This is also a waste of money, and that's the pain point Crocs is addressing. Crocs is a web personalization platform and we all, that allows developers to create dynamic websites and our customers love it. In fact, we are already doing over $400,000 in annual recurring revenue. We are making personalization affordable and scalable, and our secret sauce, which is unique to us, is delivering an amazing developer experience. Using our APIs, a single developer can turn a website dynamic in a few hours rather than months, saving a lot of money. This allows the marketing team to work independently and at high speed. Using our APIs, they can select, define audiences, select elements, and personalize website content. To ensure they are betting on the right strategy, we help them A-B test their ideas and we show them what's working and what's not. On average, they are seeing 20% higher conversion rates using Crocs. So in a nutshell, personalizations boost ROI, companies invest more in acquisition and drive more traffic to their website. So to grow with our customers, Crocs price is based on the number of monthly unique visitors. We launched Crocs in October last year, and we are already empowering companies of all sizes and industries, optimizing web experiences for over 20 million people each month. When I was a CMO, conversion optimization was my worst nightmare, and I was constantly bothering our CTO about it. Marcos is a third-time founder with tons of experience in product development, and we decided to create Crocs because we knew there had to be a better way. See, the future of web personalization is happening today, and you don't want to be left behind. So stop wasting money on the static websites and tons of developers. I invite you all to grab your phones right now and scan this QR code because then you will see a truly dynamic website with personalization using Crocs. Thank you. In the US, 33 cents of every dollar you spend on healthcare pays for a medical practice's back office. And half of that is just on building insurance. This is due to the need to navigate complex payer policies, extremely fragmented software ecosystem, a data and uh, labor-intensive workflow, and the need to hire specialized staff in a tough hiring environment. This is a $470 billion opportunity, and IrisMed is tackling this inefficiency with the AI back office solution designed for specialty medical clinics. That's your dentist, your optometrist, your physical therapist. IrisMed joins together the disjointed software solutions, the powers of a medical back office, your CRM, application tracking software, payer portal, billing system, electronic medical record. This then enables our AI to operate at the same level of expert medical biller, but it's 90% cheaper and requires no hiring headache to scale. And instead of just focusing on medical documentation or medical coding, we focus our solution on figuring out what goes wrong in the revenue cycle process and then take the initiative to fix them. Whether it is to fix mistakes before a claim goes out to insurance companies, reconcile your remits with your payer contracts, or even follow up with the insurance on their payments. My name is Han. I spent 10 years at Walmart Health and Walmart Labs building big data systems like this. 
My co-founder was previously a consultant at Highmark Health. I'm a second-time founder and was the first hire and head of engineering at a fintech AI startup that sold for uh, 60 million. In just the last six weeks, we added two patents to our core technology. We're rolling out in 25 clinics in the US. Uh, we added a $700,000 uh, warm pipeline, and uh, we just signed another big enterprise customer, adding $50,000 to our ARR. But more importantly, we're helping our customers recover $360,000 a year in lost productivity and additional $1.8 million in top line revenue from insurance companies. <laughs> Vertical SaaS has IPO'd many winners in consolidated software in different verticals to the, to the tunes of hundreds of millions, even billions. Uh, Iris Med will be that winner for healthcare. So if you know any dental, optometry, physical therapy, or specialty outpatient clinics, please come talk to us. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jacqueline from Maven. And 14 years ago, I felt so compelled, I just had to do something about climate change right then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I skipped law school to climb through attics. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> Um, I got my BPI cert and did over a thousand home energy audits, connecting families with utility incentives to reduce energy costs and carbon emissions. I spent the next decade plus working with utilities and selling, working with and selling to utilities. And my big takeaway is that the barrier to home decarbonization is actually not apathy, but accessibility. See, everyone has a stake in driving decarbonization. Utilities have to meet mandates to reduce energy reduction, have energy reduction mandates to meet, but they don't have the technology to deliver those solutions. And residents are not always sure what energy upgrades to adopt or how to access the incentives available to them. The result, high penalties for utilities, high energy costs and carbon emissions in homes, and frustration all around. So that's why I created Maven, your personal AI-powered home energy concierge enabling you to adopt the right energy upgrades for your home in as easily as adding to cart. And the best part is that it's free for homeowners and residents. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, why? Because utilities pay for it. And why would they do that? Because they're already paying for it. <laughs> Ut <laughs> utilities spend over $5.9 billion every single year on energy programs. And this year, there's an additional $8.9 billion coming through state energy offices to implement the Inflation Reduction Act home energy rebate credits. The problem is, energy programs today can only reach between 14 and 16% of homes because they rely on outdated manual program processes. For example, the home energy assessment, a prerequisite to access a lot of incentives and rebates, especially for low to moderate income families. It's still done the same way I did them almost 15 years ago, when I was seven years old. <clears throat> <laughs> um, but really, they are conducted with pen, paper, and by people. And these four hour long audits are creating as much as an eight month backlog across the country of families waiting to reduce carbon. It's not good. Maven solves this problem. Maven is a tech partner for energy programs. We replace manual program processes with automation and AI to drive energy reduction faster. Our <laughs> Thank you. Our partners, <laughs> our partners, utility programs, or utilities and energy programs invite residents to the app. Homeowners and renters can log in, sync with their utility accounts, and then they're led to co conduct their own energy assessment. Maven Intelligence takes that data and creates a custom energy profile for the home. Residents can then view personalized recommendations, enroll in programs, and adopt incentives in just a few clicks. Maven's providing solutions in minutes instead of months. <laughs> we sell, or oh, and market response has been fantastic. So in the last 20 weeks, we've launched two pilots Increasing the number of homes our partners are complete, or increasing the number of home energy audits our partners are, are completing by 300%. Yeah. We've boosted their revenue by 25%. And we've reduced their labor costs by 87%. 
We license our platform as a service to utilities and energy programs, replacing four existing contracts. We're not only delivering better outcomes at less cost, but we're optimizing workflows. We have a huge market. Capturing 1% of our beachhead market provides over 100 million in ARR for Maven. We have 8 million in revenue in our sales pipeline and are poised to serve hundreds of thousands of homes this year. We're based in Colorado, yes, where Excel Energy has a goal of completing 50,000 audits this year, a goal they can't meet without Maven. So join our Excel Colorado waitlist, let's decarbonize Colorado, and save local ratepayers over 12 million this year. For those of you who are back in the 80s, do you remember how you booked air travel? It typically looked like a strip mall, a travel agent that may or may not be blowing smoke in your face from across the desk, <laughs> while you look at countless brochures of faraway places. Now, you're your own travel agent by simply picking up your phone, booking anywhere, anytime, in minutes. What happened from then to now was simply the supportive software that connected the supply and demand seamlessly through data consolidation as well as online booking. The on-demand charter market doesn't have any of this, which keeps this market stuck in the 80s, with brokers managing transactions through manual workflows, emails, and phone calls. So what is the on-demand charter market? It's not airlines, it's not net jets, it's not personal aircraft. What we're talking about is a highly decentralized market of over 1,800 charter operators and over 11,000 available aircraft across the US. This is the supply that is ready and waiting to be unlocked. With my 20 years of aviation experience as being a small charter operator and a pilot myself, <laughs> now I'm messed up. Uh, I've seen the pain points of this market firsthand and I know how to fix them. Since launching flight, we've seen revenues of 2.4 million. We're tracking 600,000 monthly GMV later this year. We have over 15,000 registered users. And we're soon to be partnered with 12 charter operators giving us the ability to real-time price 25 aircraft. So the size of this market, solely catering to the high net worth, is worth 25 billion. With our platform of sharing, proposing, and splitting costs, we think that we have the ability to expand that mar market by at least 30%. The crazy thing is, on average, at least, or actually more than one million requests go mismanaged, valued at 15 to 20 billion, every single month. So, with this huge opportunity, the question is, is why hasn't anybody done this before? And quite frankly, there's been multiple attempts on the demand side. However, none of them can work until you unlock the supply. Think of them as band-aids on a broken leg. So since Techstars has given me this incredible opportunity, I've been joined by an amazing Colorado-based team. We've all built companies, raised capital, had successful exits, and we're ready to do this again. So I invite you, come fly with me. Thank you. February 2021. A single storm took out power for 4.5 million people and businesses. Generators failed, pipes burst, businesses shuttered. Power outages like this cost US businesses over $150 billion a year. As I was managing product strategy and innovation for Allstate at the time, I knew that traditional insurance typically excludes coverage for power outages. In those narrow instances where some limited coverage may be available, regulatory requirements result in a claims process that can take months, a year, or even more. Small businesses don't have time to wait. 40% of small businesses do not reopen after a disaster. And if they're not able to reestablish operations within five days, 90% fail within a year. This is why Sentinel steps into the gap with instant payments for hard to insure risk, starting with power outage coverage for small businesses. Hi, I'm Sita, Sentinel's CEO and founder. 
I assembled the team of engineers, data scientists, and actuaries. Together, we built Sentinel's platform. Right now, a small business in your community can come to us to choose their coverage amount up front. Our patent pending, lower cost approach monitors for power outage events in real time. Should we detect one, we automatically notify the policyholder and send them the coverage amount they chose. No claims required. That small business can leverage their instant payment to cover whatever they need to keep their business running, from inventory spoilage and employee wages to lost income, property damage, and more. In fact, when we reached out to over 600 small businesses, 70% said that they're interested in purchasing coverage. That scales to 23 million small businesses in the US alone. On average, these small businesses are willing to pay $30 a month for every $1,000 worth of coverage. And should they experience a power outage risk event, they're seeking a payout of around $20,000. This translates into a $165 billion market opportunity in the US alone. All right, so how are we gonna cover these payouts? Well, we have three NDAs and an LOI in place with insurance partners. This will ensure that Sentinel can cover payouts from day one. We also have over 30 companies in our distribution pipeline including three that have already signed LOIs to pilot with us. This will help connect Sentinel with over 100,000 small business policyholders. Sentinel is built to scale. Ultimately, we will expand from interrupted utilities to also cover natural disasters, infectious disease, and event cancellation in the US and beyond. We are your Sentinel, always on guard to first help small businesses, and then consumers and enterprises triumph over adversity. Partner with us in our mission to empower more resilient communities. Thank you, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. The human brain is losing a battle against information overload. We're consuming nearly 30 times more information than our parents ever did. That's like four books worth of content in a day. The toughest part of this is that we may forget up to 50% of what we learn within one hour. It's true. This is called the forgetting curve. <laughs> Swear to God. <laughs> and this problem, it's particularly acute for 100 million knowledge workers in the US alone who face vast amounts of information any given day. And that is why I've built Nolly. Hi, I'm Lizelle Van Vieren, and I'm the founder of Nolly. Yeah. <laughs> in my lifelong journey, learning how to learn best has led me to this moment to build this product called Nolly, your AI-powered learning tool that helps you learn faster, remember more, and save all the knowledge you can ever consume over a lifetime. Let me show you how Nolly works. Okay, so first, we onboard each user through a simple conversation. Then, you can connect all your favorite books, your content, and even your notes directly to Nolly in our simple-to-use mobile and web app. And then, just like I'm showing on the screen here, you can dive in to your favorite book or a collection of content right on Nolly. So while you learn with Nolly, it starts to save a never-ending knowledge bank for future use. The nature of Nolly is to prompt your brain whenever you need total recall, like I just did. <laughs> and the market is immense, because 60% of the American labor force are knowledge workers, and we use our brains every day to create value at work. And also, nearly 20 million college students face enormous amounts of information any given day and we know they're already using AI to help. We've only been writing code 
for less than three months during this incredible Techstars program, and we already have 1,000 customers ready to use Nolly. <laughs> so, the future of Nolly is offering each and every one of us a trusted second brain so that you can learn faster, remember more, and access an endless supply of creative new ideas. So this, this is your brain. But this is about to be your brain on Nolly. And I'm so thrilled tonight to invite each and every one of you to the Nolly Playground, which we just shipped this morning. Please take out your phones, scan this code, or visit nolly.ai. This is the first look at a demonstration that is immersible for you to experience the learning tool that we've been working so hard on. I hope you all dive in to drop some Nolly with me tonight. Thank you. I have been writing complex documents my entire adult life. After graduating with a law degree, I started an automated research company for members of parliament in the UK, which I exited. And then I started one of the fastest growing ed tech companies in Europe, going from zero to 10 million in revenue in under three years. <laughs> I built that business so quickly by successfully writing and winning government contracts. And that's not a skill available to everyone until now. Hi, everyone. I'm Jesse. And my co-founder is Ruben Carter. We've been friends for nearly a decade. Ruben has an amazing background leading high-performance AI and ML teams, including building an industry-leading point cloud rendering system for broadcast television. We've teamed up to build Intellectable. With Intellectable, businesses can easily create AI workflows that write grants, RFPs, and administrative documents 93% faster. <laughs> We've pointed our technology at a huge problem in the defense sector first. There are over 120,000 small defense suppliers that can't write proposals fast enough to meet deadlines. And our DOD prime pilot partner says this is roughly nearly, this is nearly $50 billion a year in lost revenue. We solve this problem by giving our users the tools to easily create advanced AI workflows that take unlimited amounts of source material you provide and complete complex chains of actions that result in grants, RFPs, and administrative documents written in hours, not weeks. We've built valuable, uh, we've put decades of experience into Intellectable. We've built valuable, efficient AI technology with ultra low compute costs. And this means Intellectable can do things that are simply speed and cost prohibitive for anyone else using third-party applications like OpenAI. We have a totally unfair tech advantage. Since launching our sales efforts three months ago, we've built up a $115,000 ARR. And we now have a pilot with a DOD prime contractor that revenues over $60 billion a year and a fast-growing list of SMBs desperate to make more money faster. Our license and success fee model shows a potential $1.6 billion in revenue in the defense market alone. And when we spread to other federally funded verticals and small business requirements, our revenue potential is well north of $20 billion. I love this market because we're helping small business, big business, and everyone in between. But it's the same exact product every time. And that product is intellectual. Thank you. April 2020 will be known in history as the month America ran out of toilet paper. <laughs> Catch and keep, it may be worth something when we exit. All right, back to the story. Massive supply chain disruptions gave us container skyscrapers at the store, at the ports, and empty shelves at the stores. The chaos of unpredictable transportation costs 
left many supply chain companies uncertain about their ability to pay their salaries, their business operations, and to really stay alive. It turns out that predictability in transportation pricing is a key ingredient in building resilient supply chains. You see five million loads of freight move across the United States daily, and each is a potential source for unplanned surcharges to disrupt the financial flows of each company. This exception-based, labor-intensive, and manual process cost the industry more than $47 billion per year. Muniva fixes this. Hi, everyone. My name is Marina Brown, AKA the toilet paper person. <laughs> and alongside my co-founder, Jason, we're bringing pricing stability to supply chain. As former executives of some of the largest payments and logistics companies in the world, we're uniquely positioned to deliver a platform that connects drivers, dispatchers, brokers, shippers, and factoring companies in a real-time information and payments exchange. Companies get real-time notifications for any unplanned over-the-road financial events. Automated workflows facilitate approvals, payments, and system updates. Now, the best part is that Muniva doesn't disrupt the current operational processes of companies. We simply automate the workflows. Our customers believe that Muniva's technology will bring groundbreaking changes to supply chain pricing and payments. And they're on track to avoid more than $400,000 of unplanned surcharges just this year. We make money based on the number of loads a supply chain company moves. And as we move into supply chain payments, our revenues will also include a percentage of the value of every transaction. With millions of supply chain companies willing or eager to escape the unpredictability of surcharges, this is a $13 billion market opportunity for us today, just with our current AI visibility engine. And one of our go-to market strategies is integration with transportation software. And we recently kick-started that by integrating with the card, one of the largest logistics software companies in this country. I know most of you think of supply chain as trucks, trains, and ocean liners. But I want to welcome you on board the mothership of predictable supply chain pricing. Thank you. Statistically, I have about 367,000 hours left on planet Earth, 122,000 hours of sleep, 65,000 hours to work. If I throw myself a birthday party every year, I'll be celebrating my birthday for another 336 hours. And unless a meteor hits the Boulder Theater, I'll be on stage for another 110 seconds. <laughs> I think a lot about time. Hi, I'm Joseph Franz, and I spent the last 10,000 hours of my career as a debt restructuring consultant, <laughs> successfully renegotiating over $20 billion of funded debt across industries like retail, offshore drilling, and biotech. But no matter who my client was, there was one problem that nagged me on every deal. My timesheet. This time last year, I was doing this exact timesheet. And every day, for years, I would sit down at the end of the day and write out 10 to 15 entries, like the ones you see up on the screen here. It took me 10 to 20 minutes per day. And if I got behind on my time entries during the week, it would take me hours on Sunday night to reconstruct what I did. And I wasn't alone. 20 million people in this country track time for their employer or bill by the hour. This practice spans industries like law, accounting, consulting, architecture, engineering, design, and more. As a country, we spend over one billion hours per year just tracking time. All in all, over a trillion dollars annually is transacted in the economy based on time entries manually recorded by professionals. But that's about to change. Today, 
alongside my co-founder, Taylor Sullivan, we're introducing Time Century AI. We are in the business of time, tracking it, analyzing it, and optimizing it. So how do we do that? Our time tracking engine connects across the full range of productivity apps you know and love. Apps like Gmail, Chrome, Microsoft 365, Monday, Slack, and Asana. We ingest digital data feeds from these applications and run them through a series of machine learning models that turn unstructured data into statistically accurate time entries. The result, instantaneous, high-quality, auto-populated timesheets. I have 30 seconds left with you, so like millions of American business owners, I am running out of time. In a survey by the Alternative Board, business owners cited time management as their number one productivity challenge. That's why at Time Century, in addition to effortless timesheets, we enable our customers with best-in-class analytics that deliver transparency and time-based insights across clients, projects, and tasks. You all know time is money. So by enabling our customers to spend time more effectively, we immediately deliver bottom line financial results. Time is running out, and lost time is never found again. But if you do find yourself in search of lost time, I know a place where you might find some on my calendar. Thank you. Product strategy is company strategy. A healthy pipeline of innovative products drives market share, top line revenue, and creates loyal customers. So why is it that so many companies struggle achieving maximum ROI with their product releases? 48% of product managers spend more time on end of cycle documentation, boring, than any other portion of their job. These tasks include release notes, change logs, product marketing briefs, and go-to-market communications all the things that allow teams to go sell and customers to adopt and expand. Often mundane, these critical tasks empower go-to-market teams to go sell and for customers to expand. Hi, I'm Tony Macias, CEO of Butterfly. Our AI-powered platform takes technical jargon and transforms it into easy-to-understand persona-based communications, actually allowing your revenue teams to go get revenue. Yeah. Our process accelerates the speed to adoption and helps promote higher NRR, net retention revenue. Let, let me tell you how it's done. First, we take your technical inputs from systems like Jira, GitHub, and we push them into Butterfly. Our platform then aggregates and generates all your end of cycle documentation. Boom, instantly saving your product team hours every single release. But that's just the beginning. Here's where the butterfly effect comes into play. We persona based communications. You need to enable your sales and customer success teams to actually go sell the product. You need to prepare product marketing for launches with instant product briefs. With one click, Instant go-to-market communications for your entire organization, for every persona, and then we push those into things like Slack. So I know that every single person in this room has been frustrated with some type of software update. Uh, for, it's my, for my mom, she wishes she has her old Facebook back, uh, or maybe you're a big company that is using enterprise tools. All those companies will be our customers. The global customer engagement market is going to grow to 48 billion by the year 2030. Now more than ever, we know that solving the disconnect between product teams and go-to-market teams needs to be solved today. After talking to more than 125 product managers, we know that if we fix the end of cycle uh, release process, that we will stop all the damages that come to customer relationships. So although you may not know it, from all the British accents on two-thirds of our team, we are proud to be a Colorado-based company. And we all left Zoom video to start Butterfly. 
because we saw firsthand how small changes were having massive impacts on customers. Since February, we've closed 15 paid customers. We've generated $250,000 in pipeline. Thank you. And, and we signed four design partners. And I'm very, very excited to announce tonight that we, just last week, we signed recently IPO'd Reddit to a design partnership. So, if you're a product manager looking to transform from a caterpillar pillar into a revenue driving butterfly, <laughs> um, automate your manual task and amplify your work, then please, let's chat. We turn releases into revenue opportunities. Uh, please visit us, visit us at butterfly.io, and thank you very much. Most people don't know, but $18 billion a year worth of rubber comes from a tree. But brands do. It's in your tires, and it's in your mattresses, and it's in the shoes on your feet. <laughs> like these from our first implementation with Vans, but more on that in a second. Brands want to make sure that this rubber doesn't come from climate negative places like this, but from climate positive ones like this. This isn't just about rubber, though. U.S. consumer goods companies spend $103 billion per year on their sustainability departments. And those teams spend about 75% of their time trying to get some data for about 15% of their farmers. Now, that has to be for 100% of them, because regulations require it and consumers demand it. Hi, I'm Charles Darling, CEO of Verify, and our team has spent careers solving sustainability issues for some of the largest companies in the world. From that experience, our evidence engine powers sustainability programs to their highest value by providing brands with ground truth, claims, reporting, and insights they need from all 100% of their farmers. In our first year, we bootstrapped over $100,000 of revenue. <laughs> powering programs for some pretty amazing companies and organizations. Which brings us back to Vans. Vans made their first regenerative claims in company history on the rubber in these shoes after we validated and verified 70 different data points from their 1,600 smallholder farmers in Thailand. We processed data from sources including surveys, sensors, and satellites to reduce multiple climate, cl climate, environmental, and social claims. We reduced the cost of the sustainability department for this all by 75%. And we cut reporting time down from a month to seconds. The farmers' revenues increased by 25%. Their yields went up. And the rubber's quality even improved. The program is seeing better performance, and even Vans's procurement department is seeing the benefits of sustainability. Goes without saying, Vans love the results. They won awards. P.S., the shoes are super comfy. I highly suggest you go pick some up. This year, we're going to be powering rubber and coffee purchases for Vans and others. And we've been pretty busy during Techstars, growing our pipeline to over $2 million in negotiation for just the next 12 months alone. For these deals, we use a transaction-based revenue model so that we align to value. Already, though, beyond just these brands, we're fielding calls from financial institutions, NGOs, and others ahead of our scheduled plans for customer expansion and a data marketplace. Look, we've taken some time here tonight to go through the data, and the evidence and results are clear. Sustainability is the best business model for people, planet, and profits. So if you're interested in any one of those things, get in touch, and let's drive some outside outcomes together. Thank you. Who in here can spot the fake? It's not an easy task. Document fraud is the most prevalent type of fraud that occurs in financial transactions. 
Right now, the average fintech is losing 51 million to fraud every year, with many losing much more. Even income verification services like Plaid, that we all thought would solve this problem, must manually review documents for 40% of applications. Hi, everyone. My name is Aminata, and I'm the CEO and founder of Trusted Copy. <laughs> Trusted Copy eliminates fraud by authenticating the validity and source of any document. Here's one example of how it works. When a lender requests a document from a borrower, like a bank statement, the borrower uses our free browser extension or mobile app to authenticate their document, encoding it with identifying information like SSL certificates and IP address. The authenticated document is then placed in the borrower's trusted copy vault, where it's shareable but can't be edited, ensuring that it's unaltered and fraud-proof for the lender. Our target customers include risk and compliance teams that collect, organize, and authenticate documents all as a part of their underwriting process. In the US, there are over 100 million consumer loan transactions yearly, requiring more than 2 billion pages of documents to be authenticated for underwriting. Our business model is simple. We charge 60 cents per page authenticated by our API. That's a market opportunity of more than $1.2 billion for this vertical alone. Since joining Techstars, we've secured a pilot with a mortgage processor for Chase and Wells Fargo to process 10% of their applications. This translates to more than 360,000 documents that will be authenticated on the Trusted Copy platform, giving us an ARR of $216,000. Here's a little bit about our team. Frederick Hudson, our head of product, has over 10 years of experience driving product adoption in bureaucratic markets, while Mark Ford, our CTO, is equipped with more than 20 years of expertise building scalable and secure platforms. As an attorney, I bring over a decade of legal experience to this team, advising clients on transactional and litigation matters related to business, healthcare, and compliance with federal law. That's why us. Here's why right now. With every technological advancement, bad actors find ways to exploit it. Deep fakes and AI have demonstrated that we can no longer blindly trust what we see or hear. Documents don't get an exemption from this, as individuals can easily create counterfeit documents that are indistinguishable from authentic ones. By the way, both of these pay stubs are fake. <laughs> Trusted copy is no longer an option. It's a requirement. If you want to learn more about how we're game-changing fraud prevention, connect with us. We'd love to talk to you. Thank you. Yeah.